the ultimate question. How are you feeling? Like I'm very glad it's the last day. It's the what? Last day. Nah. I did actually sleep well apart from I woke up with quite a lot of arm pain again. But you change for the tent? Nope. Final leg. Just gotta bring it home safe now. I've not got much chat. I am a broken Vanessa. No, oh, I'm coming in for the hug. Hmm. I would never. She's not gonna admit it, but she's folded her tent up with her phone in the pocket inside the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Just as she that. took two attempts to open. Never. But I knew exactly where it was. <laughs> I'm not sure how the body is still going. Uh, cool, thank you. I got snood. Um, it is the final push. 275k and then it's Dakar. Just gotta keep focused. I am feeling pretty shattered. But I got this. Uh, not many updates because it's been a little bit of a rush morning on, with first bikes at 6 a.m. And you can see it's dark right now, which means it's quite early. Speak to you later. We'll see you where? I'm just carrying for ballast. <laughs> I thought about that in my tent two nights ago. I was like, I should take all those coins out. There's really <laughs> quite a bit of weight. I knew I didn't love a protein shake instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First race fuel of the last day. We've got this big buddy going strong. Yeah. Yeah, you're attached to my leg because my headphones are going through my pocket, so you're in a weird angle. Um, we have another 95k liaison to do, just stop for a pee, and there's a beautiful old pony walking past. Uh, Senegal is definitely a stunning place, there's so much colour and vibrancy. I'm sure there are more donkeys than humans here, and definitely more goats, they're everywhere. Uh, there are a lot more horses the further we go, it seems, as well. And a few dogs, not too many, and I haven't seen an elephant. But I think there's a conspiracy theory going on here. I don't think there are any elephants. Actually, I know there aren't. I'm just being bantered. Anyway, right. Onwards. Another 95k. Then we've got the final special stage. Woo!
Gunter, how are you? Oh, we're, la we're late. Has it started? No, uh, go to uh, all uh, motorbike and the start the it just uh, after uh, the house. Is that a car? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not started yet. No, it's just. Uh, Should we go there or wait here? Wait here. Okay, I go to the tree. My body is very relieved it is the last day. I'm not sure I've probably managed to get across in this video quite how hard these events are. Oh wow, look how much hay those horses have. They must be pretty happy horses. They're like, look at the hay I'm bringing home. I'm gonna eat this. Uh, so I'm close to Dakar now. <laughs> not quite there, but we've got the final special stage to do, which starts somewhere nearby here on a beach uh, which is a touch intimidating because if i obviously if i don't finish this i don't finish so i'm going to be taking it really steady um but i'm absolutely absolutely done i cannot wait to not have earbuds in my ears earplugs because i'm wearing them like 18 hours a day to sleep in a noisy bivouac to ride and to not have all of this kit on it's a very comfortable kit but i just kind of feel like i want to lie on a bed totally na naked and starfish for about a week um i'm not going to get to do that because in two days time i'm actually flying to gambia with two wheels for life who are the charity i'm a brand ambassador for and i'm going to support them with some charity work and help share what they're doing with with the world so stay tuned for that video as well for now i'm going to find myself a shady tree and sit because i don't actually know how long we've got till the first bike's off but once it starts it'll be go 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 nearly there nearly at dakar i can i don't know what dakar smells like so i can't say i can smell it or taste it but i'm close <laughs> First line. Oh no. As you want. Near near or here. Here? Better. Okay. Thank you. I'm at the start line. It is a motocross style start line. There are two lines of motorbikes. Uh, I'm all starting in line, going down there. My little heart rate is probably going about 200 right now. Gunter, what happened to you? Gunter's having a lie down already. Gunter's tired. What are you doing? At least your trousers are up. So of all the people to be next to on the start line, I'm on, next to Jean Pajero on the Harley Davidson. He's blatantly going to go BAM off the line so damn quickly, he's going to fill me in with sand. I'm going to be hanging back, I think, and just let them disappear and fight because I'm going to enjoy the scenery because I don't actually need to go fast at this. I just need to finish. All I need to do is finish. Yo!
Il est pas prêt. Allez, vas-y, remonte sur ta moto si tout va bien. I'm like a mess of emotion right now. I don't know whether to cry or scream or cry or everything. I am in Dakar. I have finished uh, 6,000 kilometers. I just had the biggest off possible on the beach, going maybe 80 or 90k an hour. There was this massive obstacle. Um, I don't know how it wasn't in the road book. It was like a solid five meter wide metal bar and I just smashed into it. Um, my shoulder does not feel good. I can't lift my arm at the moment. Um, anyway, the support crew aren't here yet. Uh, so I'm just kind of waiting on my bike. So I don't know if I can move, uh, but I managed to finish. It's always the way. You fall off on the home straight. And I was taking it really steady on the beach. That's what's so frustrating. But anyway. Dakar. I finished. So Vanessa, this is it. <laughs> the Lac Rose, Dakar. What is your feeling? <laughs> it's like I can't quite believe I've made it. It's been tough. Um, and whirlwind two weeks. How how many kilometers? I, I don't know how my body's still going. Uh, I think it's going to crash now. I just had a really big off on the beach. Um, big air deploy, airbag deploy. Um, so I'm a bit injured right now. But at least I saved my crash to the end, right? But I'm in, I can't believe I'm in Dakar. I've actually made it. Like when I think that I did my first rally two years ago, started off-roading seven years ago, I've had four surgeries in that time, but I set my goal and I've trained really hard and I've made it to the finish. And I believe I'm the first British girl to ever finish the race and the second woman ever to finish every single stage. So I feel like that's a pretty big achievement, but I need to sleep now. <laughs> um... What is the best memory you, you keep from, from, from this rally? The best moment? It's probably all the little goats and the, the teeny little kids. They're so cute, like skipping around. I honestly think there are more goats and donkeys here than there are people. <laughs> um, our, a favorite moment, it was probably actually lying on um, my mattress from my tent yesterday afternoon in the bivouac with my three support team. I'd finished the day a little bit earlier 
and we were just lying there just chilling and reflecting on things that have happened in the last two weeks and how it was only two weeks ago that we got off that ferry in the door so many memories i'm really grateful that i do youtube because i've got the whole thing documented which means i'll be able to watch it back and i think that'll be quite magical reliving it because so much has happened like going into the dunes i still get so terrified going into the dunes yeah i think they're my strength my strongest part of my riding um the fast tracks i uh, just don't like going fast it's just been amazing the energy in the bivouac the, the support from everybody like i don't think there's a single person here who hasn't at some point come over and said like you're you're doing great keep going respect it's just an amazing support and i made it to dakar after this this huge challenge uh what what can be next Oh dear, I'm definitely going to sleep. Um, right now I've got to get all of my kit on the ferry, get that back home, and then I'm heading down to Gambia for a week to do, hello, talk of the devil. <laughs> I'm going with Zoe and Two Wheels for Life, who are a charity organization that also work with Africa Eco Race to give back to African communities through motorcycles. So I'm going to go down to Gambia for a week to support the charity work. And then I'll fly home go to south of France, pick up the bike and trailer and car, go home, give my husband a massive hug. I can't wait to give my husband a hug. And then sleep for maybe at least a week. <laughs> next challenge as far as racing. I've got four big races next year on four wheels. So in a Bowler Land Rover Defender car. And I need to set some more bike stuff up. But I'll definitely be back. Congrats, Vanessa. Thank you. Ben's job never stops. Had never the finish stopped. line, and what are you doing? Taking the bike apart just for fun. Uh, <laughs> he removing... misses it already. <laughs> That's it, yeah. No, I had to remove her ERC equipment as along with the Eurotrack safety equipment. Uh, that then goes back to the organisation, and hopefully she gets her deposits back. <laughs> or you, if you can run really fast. Yeah. And before that, I've already taken the stuff out of the car. Look at that. Oh, you're going to be loaded. No hanging. The two girls of the 2024 Africa Rico race. Woohoo! We made it! Good job. Where are you? Zaka! Woo! I'm happy, absolutely amazing. Tired. Where's your team? They're here. Yeah. They, will, they will come to take a picture with you. Where are they? Team! Anthony! What? <laughs> Vanessa, give, give us a few words. words. How, How was this adventure, adventure this 15 days? days. We were together at the podium ceremony in Monaco. Now we're here. here. Pink, Pink Lake. Lake. Tell, Tell us a little bit about your adventure. Wild, brutal, epic. <laughs> I feel, I feel broken. broken. The mix of emotions being on the finish line are insane. It's, it's taken me to some proper lows where I've had to dig through every bit of reserve I have. Uh, the complexity of the terrain, the navigation, the countries, the landscapes, it's just been an adventure of a lifetime. And to finish, amazing. Well done, well done to you, well done, done to your team. team. I was uh, uh, looking at you all the time, time. all the team is so cool, always smiling. And, uh, I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy for you to have achieved this. Thank you. Thank you. Team team. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. To so the team, there's a Rosa. Elle nous a dit, Vanessa. Elle nous a dit, Bravo. Bye bye, bomb. Okay, it's all good. We try. Which way am I going? That way? That way? That way? Dude. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah.
this is my sixth Africa Eco race. My okay. seventh time to Dakar. And I think you're the first Desert Rose rider I've ever sported that has got a trophy. There we go. What? Say that again. Look, wait, 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 on the mic. <laughs> Say it again. You're the first Desert Rose rider that I've sported that's got a trophy at the end of the race. Ah! Ah! That was a close up of my face. We're going for food, and you're going to come with me on a pole. Woo! Hi. Competition going, and What's there's a prize. prize. Well, you know, the prize is worth having. <laughs> so, who can do one of those? You know, like you get a, a diving swan on a fountain, and like the legs in the air, and it's like a yoga pose on one leg, and your back's straight, and you do that like yoga pose. So basically, like giving the best statue pose. Yeah, best statue pose. So is that the one with the hands at the front or the hands behind? Do one either way. Either whatever your interpretation of the best statue is. You gotta do it at the same time. No, we gotta do it at the same time. Otherwise, you can. Alright, out here on the grass. Come on. Cheat. Over here. Let's go. Let's go, kids. Well, how do I cheat? By what? being better. Because you'll than be copying. Because you can see what she's done in up you'll it. Be okay. Alright, okay. three. <laughs> Two. One. Go. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did <laughs> Kerry do? That was an easy answer. It was I feel like it was Joe. You fell to, over. I thought he was meant to be on his belly. Oh, when did you see a swan on their belly? <laughs> Legs underwater. Oh, you see a swan. <laughs> you said swan. I didn't say the, the best a statue. Angel. No, you said diving swan. <laughs> I don't know what she said. I thought we were doing like statues. So I was picturing like one of these things. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Okay, I, Okay, this was a terrible game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm tired. Okay, you're gonna have to share the prize. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a chocolate crap. Chocolate crap. The ones you were raving about every day. Yeah, what? We got pretty bored with them, I have to say. Oh, you gotta at least put it in the crepe oven. Yeah, put it in the crepe oven. Joe's crepe parlor. Um, it's Joe's pancake parlor. still don't deliver. No, um, but their delivery driver's back on duty. Smell of cheese. Ew. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, <call> me. 
At the end of every big race like this, there is an organization of the logistics of getting all the kit back home. So we have been in the garden grounds of the hotel for the last couple of hours, just organizing, sorting. My highlight is Joe's gag reflex with off milk. Seems like he's got a thing about off milk. Not a fan. 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 Um, I might use that to my advantage in future situations. But yeah, um, the, the, it is starting to look a lot less chaotic. Things are going in now, things are organised, my bike's been washed. Um, yeah, uh, once everything's loaded, seven o'clock I've got to then drive the car and trailer in convoy to the ferry port where it will be handed over to the team and go on a ferry back to the south of France. I'll then get a taxi back here and then we can celebrate the fact that I've finished the Dakar! Woo, woo, woo. And in about 10 days time, I will fly to the south of France and pick Sid up and drive him back to England and then Wales. Here we go. That's the thing. is going on a very big cruise. Uh huh. Home time. <laughs> that was a big ferry. Wowza. We have come to the end of the Athelty Eco race. It is many weeks later now and I have been processing all of this footage, getting the series out. I've just watched this final episode and then decided to do a an ending for it and it's hit me really hard. I almost feel a little bit um, I'm emotional. I feel as though there's something crazy about the human mind and emotions where it's almost dulled down how brutal and tough the event was in my memory. And I just think of this amazing, fluffy, beautiful desert. And I just want to go back to the desert and watching this series back has really helped me reflect on quite what an achievement I made by making it all the way to Dakar. Having finished, I've been able to reflect on the stats. 56% of the motorcycles that started on the finish line of the 2024 Africa Eco race made it to the finish line. So that's nearly half the bikes not making it. And you got to see a lot of the competition, a lot of the other riders. I am a small female on a really big bike in a very male dominated environment and I just want to send a message out there to anyone that doubts themselves, anyone that feels like their goal isn't achievable and just encourage you to know that you don't have to be shaped by the norms of what's happening now. Go out and work really hard and go and make those goals come true. Women, we can absolutely do this too. I really hope by me sharing quite such an honest behind the scenes helps give people a really different perspective of this rally world. I have only been riding off road for about eight years. I've had four hip surgeries in that time. Started in the rally world in, in the desert really, really recently. And I feel really proud of myself. I'm really sorry to my mum and dad for the amount of tears that are probably on your face right now watching this. And thank you to everyone for, for being here with me. I have been through the desert. Annika was there with me every day, reading out comments and messages from you and sharing the energy that you were giving me. And every day when I was out there in the desert, in the middle of the nowhere on my own, following a piece of paper for navigation and really struggling with arm pain, body pain, fatigue, it really helped me keep going. So I want to thank every single one of you because I did not do this race on my own. This was a massive team effort. The amazing support from Annika, Kerry, Joe from Desert Rose, my husband cheering one from home, my family, you lot. I couldn't have done it without all of you and of course my sponsors as well. I'm going to wrap it up now because I actually feel like I need to just go have a little cry. <laughs> the, that video is hit me hard. First British female to successfully finish the Africa Eco race on the original Dakar route. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Vanessa Ruck, the girl on a bike. There is so much content on my channel. You don't have to just watch all the new stuff. You can dig back through the archives. Please get in the comments, let me know what you think. Have you enjoyed the series? And if you haven't watched all of the ones in the series, I really, really do recommend going back and watching them. I'm waffling now, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Over and out with the Africa Eco Race 2024.